So the OnePlus 5T is out and I've got one. So this is just a quick initial impressions. I must say, this reminds me exactly of what I was missing when I got rid of my 5. That nice slim profile that fits right in your hand and this fits even better now that it's got that new aspect ratio. Of course, not a huge fan of readers on the back, but it's quick, nice and snappy. You do, of course, thin up the bezels a little bit. Uh, phone just really feels good overall. Um, OnePlus did not uh, skimp out on this, despite keeping the price right at what uh, the previous devices were. Um, I must say it was a little Disappointed when I found out there weren't many case manufacturers right after I bought this and I neglected to put one in the cart because I was just trying to make sure I got it before it went on any kind of delay or back order. But lo and behold, in the box, a little case. Obviously it's cheap, but it's better than nothing and that's all I need just so it doesn't get scuffed up or scratched. And it even has a little bit of a lip there on the corners for that face down. So. Screen protector and case in the box. Not bad. Quick to unlock. Screen's very punchy. Haven't seen any scrolling issues that I can tell, which is good because that drove me crazy once I found out about it on the last device. Of course, haven't really had any camera testing yet. Seems pretty quick though, but um, nothing official. I just wanted to see how quickly it fired off a couple photos. No problems, of course. Um, not a whole lot uh, that I can tell so far different. There might be a few new um, few new gestures possibly. I've already turned on what I'm going to use. Got your fingerprint uh, reader for notifications. Um, double tap the wake, which I, I like to use, and then flip the mute. That's all about what I would typically do with this. Um, out the box, as far as what memory is taking up. Oops, that's battery. Not a whole lot taken up got a lot of space and it does have an update right out the box it looks like and I haven't installed my apps yet on this as you can tell I'm waiting for that when I get back on Wi-Fi um, display wise yeah it's pretty punchy I actually might turn it back just a hair uh, where whoops maybe just a hair we'll see how see how that goes but yeah that looks fairly fairly natural to me Kind of like what um, Google was going for on their Pixel devices. I'm, I may leave it on that. We'll see. I've kind of gotten used to that a uh, little bit of a dull down tone. This makes things a little bit more realistic um, when transferring between devices, computers, stuff like that. Uh, everything seems pretty snappy as we, as we would expect. Um, this It just feels really good and I don't feel bad about spending $560 on this device. Whereas everything else I've had lately has been 700 or more so this may be a keeper for me just kind of fits the hand real good as long as the camera's not terrible um, and battery life hopefully will last the last one did um, no problems and I always enjoyed that dash charge for that quick top off um, just, you know I thought everything was gonna be almost exactly the same in this box the only thing that was really different from the last one is they put that extra space there to fit that case in because it fits in underneath so decent presentation nothing special very minimalistic but nice none the least but as of right now I'm pretty impressed with it, it doesn't have the thinnest bezels on the market but they're not bad like the Sony devices um, at this point so this may be a phone I actually end up keeping but we'll have to keep you updated on that until next time later